Hey guys, this is John from Sonic Drive Studio. In this quick tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to load your own hammer impulse responses into the Two Notes Torpedo Wall of Sound plugin. In this session in Cubase, I have a guitar track loaded up, which is amped by Helix Native by Line 6. Without a cabinet loaded in this plugin, it sounds like this. Of course, Helix Native also has some stock cabs and even an IR loader but I prefer the sound of Onimer files and the Helix Native interface only lets you load about 128 IRs. So now we're going to load Wall of Sound onto this track in order to get a nice Onimer cabinet sound for this guitar part. When you load up Wall of Sound for the first time, you'll be presented with the Arcade interface, but we're not going to use this particular interface. We're going to use another one, but more about that soon. Now, to get this plugin to run normally, you'll have to buy one cabinet from the store, which you can enter by pressing on the La Boutique button here. We're now in the store section. Here you'll have to choose just one cab back and buy it. And once you've done that, the full version of this plugin will be enabled. So now we're going to click on Exit, which will lead us back to the arcade interface. But from here, we'll go to the more user-friendly interface by clicking on the Simulation button right here. This interface is easier to navigate, in my opinion. Before you can load your own hammer files, you'll have to set your user folder by clicking on Menu, and from there clicking on the Select User Impulse Directory option here. Here you can point the software to your own hammer collection. I have mine set to the Wave 200 milliseconds and 48 kilohertz folder. Once you've done that, we'll go to the Miking section here and turn off the Guitar, Bass, and Online options, and just click on the User box here. This will give us access to our own hammer files. In this drop down menu, you can now choose the own hammer cab you want to load. For this track, we're going to choose the 4x12 Recto, and I'm going to go for the V70B speaker option, which is one of my favorites, and then navigate to the Quick Start folder and choose the own hammer 1 option. Now, one thing to note is that this software seems to have a bug because when you select a file, it does load the proper file, but it displays the wrong name over here and here. I'm not sure if this is the case with everyone, but keep this in mind. So the sound you'll hear is indeed the file I clicked on, the interface is just displaying the wrong file name. Once you've chosen your IR, let's go down here and see how you can further tweak your sound. As you can see, by default there is a dual cab set up here, and you can even add more cabinets by clicking on Add. However, for this tone we'll only be needing one single IR, so I'll turn the second one off. I'll also pan this IR to the center, and I will also turn off the reverb, EQ, and exciter functions here because they alter the sound by default. Let's take a listen. Sounds pretty great. If you want to further enhance your tone, you can do so by enabling the reverb, equalizer, exciter, and compressor functions here. Let's say I want to add some reverb to this tone. Just click on the reverb button here, and then you can go over here to tweak the sound. Let's take a listen. You can do the same for the EQ, exciter, and compressor functions, of course. However, Onimer files tend to already have a very good EQ balance, so I don't use these functions myself. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe and follow us on facebook.com slash sonicdrivestudio. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!